uh, webcams, KSBY.com. We're out of Morrow Strand. Beautiful shot there. Just taking a look out into the ocean. Things will get a little more interesting later on this week as we see some clouds start to stream in. Cecil Horton's view of the skies there. Not a lot of cloud cover, plenty of sunshine. Donna catching that as well. And that fueled warm temperatures today. Let's start with the morning lows. Pretty mild. Was 34 in Paso Robles, 48 in Slow, 50 Santa Maria, 55 Morro Bay and Cal Poly. And this is the thing you should jump out. 55 to start the day in Morro Bay. Okay, you knew we had to be going somewhere big when you get a start that's that warm. So these are the numbers observed today. These are the records off here. So Goleta tied a record, 80, 80 back in 1992. Morro Bay, 81 today. 80 was the record from 1986. Elsewhere, we were close. So 79 Santa Maria, 81 in San Luis Obispo, 81 at Cal Poly in Santa Inez as well. What's interesting about today, so in the winter months, the interior is colder than the coast, but today they're overlapping. The actual average daytime high for Paso Robles and Templeton Tascadero, 64 degrees. The average daytime high in Santa Maria, San Luis Obispo for today, 64 degrees. Let's check out the current conditions right now. 70 in San Luis, 74 Paso Robles, 74 Santanez, 70 in Santa Barbara, 76 Gaviota. So we're off the peak heat of the day, but we're still well above average. The winds currently are lightly onshore. Guess what? They're going to go offshore again later on tonight to fuel another warm day. Statewide, same story. 73 Bakersfield and Sac, 71 in the Bay, 74 in LA and San Diego. But nationally, there still is winter out there. It's just 22 in Denver, 35 in the Twin Cities. In fact, a fairly significant storm system is going to push up into the plains over the next few days. For us, it's kind of an interesting pattern. We get this offshore flow from a split flow. We have this ridge across the west, the surface is high in here. There's a second branch well to the south. With this setup, the only thing we're watching is when does it break down? It starts to break down partially on Thursday and Friday for some clouds to push in. And then for the weekend, temperatures cool and we're talking about a shower chance on Sunday. Well, with days of offshore flow and the trajectory of this basically being too far outside of our area and then it sweeps through the south, this is probably showery on and off type rainfall. The thing is, models are still big on the second week of March. This is a look at the pattern for March 9th. There's other potential later on in that week. Could be inches of rain, so that's all good news. But again, today, the lead story is heat. And tomorrow's going to be very, very similar. If anything, again, I'm on the conservative side, going mid-70s to roughly 80 degrees. That means scattered 80s are almost a sure thing. Santanez Valley temperatures mid to upper 70s. Orchid, Los Alamos, 77, 77, Napomo, 75, AG, 72, at Pismo, 73, Los Soso, 77, San Miguel, and Atascadero. The five-day forecast warms even more on Thursday before, again, the ridge starts breaking down. You can see how much cooler conditions will be on Sunday. I didn't go with the rain icon yet because right now I think the rain, if it happens, it'll be later in the day on Sunday. But you can see what happens to temperatures. We're going to see highs in the 50s and 60s.